Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can run SSIS package in Azure Data Factory. Or same thing we can do into Azure Synapse Analytics. In previous video, we have created an Azure SSIS integration runtime. We will leverage that runtime to run this SSIS package. So if you want to see that video, you can go ahead and see that one also. For this demo, we are into Azure subscription and inside our subscription, we have this research group where we have already created two databases. One is OLTP database, transactional database provided by Microsoft for wide world importers, that database which we will use as a source. And there is another database which is worldwide data warehouse where we, this will be a sync where the data is being coming into some system using some web services web api or a web application into transactional database and then we are putting pulling into data and massaging that one put into warehouse that is the kind of scenario we want to do that one and there is existing application existing ssis package which is doing this job inside on-prem system and we want to lift ship that one using azure data factory this is what we are going to do so if we go and see this database this is the two databases and one is which we talked about having a, this uh, transactional database that has different things like that different tables and other things for application sales and voices applications and other details and then if we go into warehousing uh, as a warehousing we have dimension tables we have fact tables which will be used now inside our on-prem application this is one SSIS package was running and this package was checking that when it was last run what is the time now it was it was loading the ct dimension it was loading the customer dimension all this it was loading and if we see that uh, what it was doing that it was setting the set, uh, table name and other things it was truncating if we go and see that it was calling delete from integration dot ct staging truncating the staging table into destination db and then it was pulling all this get ct update what update has happened inside our transactional database and what was happened inside uh, and whatever is get it, it is sending into a staging table that that is what it was happening now this is hanged a little bit it might be i need to start this visual studio okay it came so if you see this one it is calling into source db which is our transactional database from that place it is getting all these details of what got changed and then it is inserting into a staging table because before a staging uh, before putting into a staging we were doing the truncate and now it is putting into a staging table and all this is happening so it was loading into that one and it was putting all this into custom city staging and then if we go into mapping section we can see how mapping is working this was the mapping and other details so this is how a normal ssis looks like and it is doing for every dimension first it loads every dimension and it is do loading the fact table and uh, after this it was doing all this it was migrating this from staging to it was calling this the staging and migrating into uh, main tables right so that is what all the then done so i am not going to run this whole uh, package it's a size package i have um, just used some of the things here like we are going to do the truncate part uh, delete from integration to ct that truncate part and then we are using that uh, getting the data updates from the tables and we are going to put into destination that is a staging table we are going to put in a staging table and and I, we will do the same this one basic activity which if i will go and let me try to do this one uh, if i go to staging table okay into destination uh, dimensions tables we were looking into that one integration this with this one right now if we see
there are this one so let me truncate this table so that when we will run that one i'm going to run this once again to see that the data is coming or not right now if we see that truncate is there me mark this this one now if i will go ahead and run there is nothing let me try to test one more time from here with all these details and then see that it is pulling in or not okay try and over there let me go back and run and so now it is pulling and putting in this db so let me stop that one and in previous video if you have seen that one we have created inside our azure data factory let me launch the azure data factory to run this ssis package we had created as um, azure if we go into integration runtime we have created azure ssis integration runtime and it is type of azure ssis which if we click that details let me see all the details for that so when we created this one we go ahead it is linked to this uh, ssis db server endpoint this is software oltp database and if i go back into our software oltp db where we have transaction database one database which we have ssis db which is for our integration runtime and this is connected here now if i go ahead there are multiple ways let me go ahead and create a pipeline we will go ahead and give the name ssis demo and in this one activity if i type that execute ssis package and drop down let's see what settings we have right now so the very first thing that we have to select azure ssis ir we have already created into previous demo so we have that one now where is the package it can come from ssis it can be from any packages file system package we can give and if we go ahead and give the file system then we have to go ahead and browse our storage put into file share and give that one or there are multiple ways we can give the package store where if have we have any package store created in other details i will go ahead with ssis db1 and if i refresh this one right now there is nothing inside this ssis db because we just created in back and then there is no folder and other things is created so that uh, there is no folder so there is no project and other things so let me go ahead into my integration one and i will go ahead and publish that using deploy and let me go ahead and it is going to test now i can go ahead and say ssis into sql server or azure data factory uh, we can we can have the destination also if i go ahead and next i can give the catalog server name i want to use the same catalog server name that is why i am given let me put the name i can go ahead with ssis in db factory and other details also if i select that one it will say that create an ssis in in azure because i have already that one so i do not want to create that one i can also use the connect method to connect that one using same account and other details and same thing for azure ssis and apps analytics but let me go with this option and let me provide my details for db so let me grab the details let me grab this db admin which i db admin what is the password i can go ahead and give the details and the package will be this package that okay ssis db package software with demo ssis demo that will be created right and if i see that one let me connect that one if i want to so it is saying that one the path does not exist let me browse that one this path is not exist because we do not have anything let me create one path demo package this path i will create this folder inside the ssis db and if i will select that one then i can give whatever name i want to give this for uh, demo and this is coming for software adf ssis demo because that project name is there so i will go ahead and create next it will also take that all this uh, command line it will run and it will generate and connect to that one and give us the details so now it is deploying into our ssis db 
let's that wait and instead of if you want to deploy into package store if you want to deploy into generate the package or project inside any file system we can do that one and it will look like this one so i have downloaded this etl package from our demo which is provided by microsoft that placed for them it the etl packages looks like this one that okay this will integration service deployment file if we deploy that one the package another thing it will look like for that one and also if we go inside the details let me share this one first now it went and published that so if i go ahead and i save share that another place where it how it will look like so inside file store also we can go ahead and create smb files here and we can upload that one and we can run from there also uh, using package store and other things but in this demo let me go ahead and select that and now i have selected this one now if i refresh this folder because now i have Publish this one into SSIS DB. I should be able, able to see demo package. And now my project will come. And inside project, all whatever package is there, package.dtx is coming. If we go in details for package.dtx, this is the package.dtx SSIS package is coming. And this is the project. This all the details are coming. And environment, we can select environment. What is the logging level and other details? This is what is required. If you want to put more parameterize if you want to put that okay right now and now i have this connection package now i want to change the connection and other things maybe that that was using some test connection and other things from connection manager so we can see that what the connection managers are here and details are there we can see all the details if you want to change during runtime then we can provide this, this details but because i have the same right now i do not want to change that one if you want to provide any property overrides all these details we can do let me publish this uh, pipeline and let me try to trigger now let's see if it runs successfully or not let's go to monitor section let's go to pipeline section Right now it is running in progress. Let's see if it fails or it's being successful. Now it is successful. Let's see the details. Uh, maybe it is we will confuse because there was the details already. And it is in the SSI package, it is doing transformation and staging. So let me go ahead and update, delete this one. And I will go ahead and run one more time and then see this one the details. Let me go ahead and try to change that something in CT tables. Let me go ahead and see what the details are there. Okay, so maybe I can go ahead and say that it 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 ETID equals to let me run this one remove have this one now inside this warehousing anything is not there into this one let me go ahead and rerun from here itself i can go ahead and rerun it is queued Then let me see that all the runs I will go ahead and not source all that run is rerun and originally successful. I will go ahead and try to see this one so I am able to see that. And let me see what I wanted to see. Say that there WWI CTID equals to one. Let's see what. It here the SSIS demo is coming and why this is there into that column because if we go into data flows task and we are leave db destination and if we see mapping wwct id is mapped to this one and what is this one wwi ct id because we have seen that ct id so if we go into all this source and if we see that one we are taking the result set and this is here on that one so if i take this one the details and if i go the output into our any one place into details 
Okay. Let me go to not into warehousing. We have to go into a standard one. So I will go ahead and run these details. And this will give this uh, will give that city and ID and other things. If we want to see that integration, what is that inside the code? We can go inside our all this integration and get that uh, this one. We can go ahead and inside table we can go in and, and see that script as a create and then we can see the more details that how it is generating that table temp table and other thing by reading all this what got changes in between time and other things and it was pulling so basically i wanted to show you that how we can lift that ssi package if you have something into your local system or on on-prem system how we can run into azure itself using Azure Data Factory and same way we can achieve into Azure Synapse Analytics. So yeah, I hope uh, you will learn from something from this one. Thank you.